hello everybody welcome back to pink crafty world today i have a global land um video and this video is using um some of the dyes that they uh sent me um this time we're going to be working with this uh dye over here i don't know if you guys can see uh clearly but i'm trying my best to share the picture um that i have uh on what is the dye about it it's like this teapot it's like a box that you can use to put uh, stuff inside and it looks very cute so i'm gonna try to put this together with you so you guys can see how this uh dye will go together so without any other further ado uh let's start but before let me uh, explain to you that all the links they're going to be in the description box below with the coupon discount codes and all the information that you need for global land like i mentioned global land it's a craft store where you can find a lot of dyes stamps and a lot of um items for your craft need so please go and check them out um uh, let's uh, start with the tutorial um I already have all the pieces that I need here. Uh, previously, I went uh, in my die cutting machine and I die cut um, all the pieces that I was needing for this project. And um, let's start with the base. I did call the base uh, double. So I'm gonna glue these together. And the reason is I did it for more stability. Uh, in case I have to put something that is a little bit heavier, so that way I can, um, you know, have these uh, more sturdy. But you don't have to do that. That's something that I did that I prefer to do, uh, but you don't have to do it, of course. Um, so I'm going to glue those two pieces together. But again, this is a step that you don't have to do. Um, this is something that I'm doing on my own just because I prefer um, a thicker base to work with and I'm using cardstock paper and this is from the paper Pratt from Recollection uh, for Valentine's <clears throat> so and I have both pieces together okay and now we're gonna go from there um, this has scoring lines uh, that you have to fold and in order to bring your uh, die together. So I'm just gonna start gluing this and I'm gonna be looking at the picture because that's why I wanted to share with you guys uh, because it doesn't have instructions or anything like that. Uh, we have to be uh, prepared on how to glue this on. So I'm going to put glue in this part here. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, and, and I'm going to attach this to this part here. Okay. there is that and now we have these pieces here and again it has these pieces here where they are previously scored by the die and you just have to you know make sure that they bend a little so I'm going to glue this part here There we go and now I'm just going to glue that piece there okay so because after that we're gonna glue these pieces like that but we're gonna finish what I like to do is I like to put all these the bottom pieces these i like to attach them first 
Then we're gonna make sure this part match with this. So we're gonna do it like this, okay? And I'm going to glue this one here. There we go. And then the last one, it will be this one. And right in there okay so now that we have that like this now we're going to uh, attach all these sides and every single one of them and i'm going to uh, start here so i'm going to put adhesive over here and i'm going to put it like right in there so it just looks pretty even there we go Okay, so, and there you have the box. Now we're going to proceed with the um, decorating part of this. And we have here, um, in one of these sides, uh, which is um, this die over here, this die brings these two um, slots here. It will cut out. A tiny slot and then this big one this big big one is going to be for this part of the teapot which is going to go in there okay going to go like this and then this one is going to go one on each um in one one of on each of these okay so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to put um and now um oh my god what I did with this I'm going to glue I almost lost this I'm going to glue these two together to make it more thicker okay just like that and then this is the part that is just gonna come out of here but let me it's open, but I wanted to, you know, make sure with my craft knife. And I'm just going to go like that once and in there. And it is in there. 
very nicely. Look how cute. Okay, so that's how you got your box. And not, not much now. Um, only we have to do is uh, to decorate this. And it bring um, all these dies to decorate. It have this trim, um, cute trim die. I love it because it's so tiny and cute that you can decorate uh, the bottom part in here.
but look how beautiful is this uh tea tea pot uh box teapot box yeah oh my gosh so cute um you can put here sequin mix you can put here maybe uh some bows you can put in here some pom-poms maybe uh uh uh, stickers uh chipboard pieces um a small rosettes uh the small die cuts small trims that you can um re rebind in another um, type of um packaging and it will look so cute to receive something like this it's just the cutest thing whatsoever guys i highly recommend you getting this uh box is gorgeous it's very very affordable plus you guys have a discount code code through me with global land all the information is there in the description box below please go and check them out you guys I don't to share now with place. you guys on how to put together this die here with this uh like a suitcase um this is from global land like i mentioned previously and it's super cute die i already previously uh die cut all the pieces here and now we're just gonna put it together and see how it looks at the end i hope that you guys enjoy the process and let's begin first of all we you have to cut the biggest part of the uh, suitcase the biggest die that is in here you have to cut it twice okay so I already previously scored, um, uh, fold all the score lines, I should say. And you will have something like this, okay? So now only thing we need to do is to glue um, these uh, pieces together. And to do that, um, before you glue any dies together, go around the die and trying to form your piece you know without putting any glue like if it's a box you try to form the, the box so that way you know your dies are according with the sizings and the leads will match and all that good stuff you know because you see here this part that won't match with this so that means that i have to um do uh, this here but let me um forgot to fold this part here <clears throat> so let me fold this here also okay so now we will have something like this and it seems like it will work pretty good so let's start gluing these uh pieces together and again um, the orientation on this paper doesn't matter because the hearts goes everywhere. So it actually doesn't matter too much to me. So it will be okay, don't matter what size. So in case you have a print printed paper like the, um, like design paper, I would say, uh, you have to take that in consideration that make sure that your um, That your sides will um, actually match and what I will do is I will glue this part here like I'm doing here and make sure that everything you know aligns pretty good when you do this okay right in there go with my own folder and I press it down okay and now we have this piece here and I go, I'm folding that out so you guys can see it and I'm going to be applying glue in this piece here and then I will fold it back down and glue it to the paper there we go and then we're going to do the same thing on this look what I do is I put this piece here like that okay and I will put glue in this piece 
piece here. All right. And then I will bring this over here and I will press it down. You guys see? And then, oops, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, sorry. It did move a little bit on me. So, uh-uh. That is not actually too good, but. Okay, again, we're gonna attempt this again. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. So now we have the box like right in there. doing this here because I need this part to actually fold pretty nicely and it's not doing it okay now and now we're gonna close the bottom part <clears throat> I'm just gonna fold here and I like to put a little bit of the adhesive on this and then close this and then just Put adhesive here. Plenty so my stuff don't come undone. Okay. And then close that. Then I just put it like that. And then with my bone folder, I'll go inside. Just like that, guys. Making sure it's really steel okay because it's going to be my bottom this is my top okay so now we're gonna uh put the other elements we have a packet here a cute packet so i'm gonna burnish this here Okay, and I'm going to add glue on this, but, um, okay, yeah, there we go. There we go. And I want this to be my front. So I'm just going to put my packet there. I'm just going to put it there. And then I'm going to go and press with my bone folder. Just wanted to press it down. Make sure it's aligned. Yeah. And I put pressure with my bone folder. Okay, now this is the hang, 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 handle of the, um, <clears throat> of the suitcase, so I'm going to see it, have it like this, and then see if, like, how much, maybe like that much, actually. I need to glue it like that because that's my front. So I'm just gonna glue it from here to here. Just 
just like that super cute and then it has some decorative um corners here that we're going to attach to the okay where is my other corner here Okay, then um, this is what is going to go in here. How cute. And we have to put the wheels, of course. in each of the corners Already and one more. Here is the four wheels. Okay, say. So, um, there is the, um, I'm just going to put the top, uh, this piece in here and this piece also in there just for fun and the cute heart. I'm just going to have it right in there okay and using a tiny piece of string I'm just gonna hang the tag from the handle of the suitcase As you guys can see it's pretty fast die to put together very easy to do so um nothing that you have to stress about it they are actually easy easy um dice to work with and the best thing is they are very affordable guys i'm telling you they are very very affordable um dice let me see how i can do this so the tag will look forward let's see maybe like this yeah <coughs> apologize because i still coughing but um, 
So now I'm just going to cut a little bit of the excess. And again, like I mentioned, you can put, let me see if I can find mine. I don't know what I did with them at this moment. But to close it, because it's a box that you're going to send goodies, probably to a, a crafty friend or, you know, anybody in your life like that. You can use um, some Velcro dabs like these ones here. I ordered these on AliExpress. So, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to place my Velcro dab in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. And just going to close it. See how cute. Oh, my tire come off, but it's okay. I'm just going to put um, some blinks in the tire part here. So, one second, please, so I can get my blinks. All right, so we have some of these hearts, but I think they're going to be too big. So, let me see what else I have in here, like these ones. Yep. These white ones. That's what I'm going to use for that. On each of the tires. Perfect. And then with the Velcro dot, and they're all, I think I put too little of the glue there, a little bit more. There we go. There we go. So cute. Oh my gosh. These are so, so pretty. Just gorgeous. I love, love how these projects today they did come out um, using this die which is the suitcase dies look how pretty it is and also we did put together the teapot box so you have two cute boxes here to send goodie to any crafty friends uh, using the um, dice Oh, look how cute and adorable these came out. I put the blinks on the tires and it looks so, so pretty. It has their own tag and everything. We put a Velcro that to open and close the box. And um, <laughs> it looks super adorable. And you have a box here to send goodies to a crafty friend. And today we work in these two. So I hope that you guys like, enjoy the video tutorials on these two projects. Um, I think they are stunning. They are very affordable at globalland.com. All the links is going to be in the description box below. Please take advantage of that. Go and use um, the links that I provide and the discount code and get these for Valentine's Day, for Mother's Day, for a birthday, for any occasion. You have a cute box to send a cute little gift if you want to send jewelry, uh, money even, um, candies, uh, crafty goodies, anything for anybody in your office, co-workers and all that. You can put candies, anything in here and it will look very, very cute and adorable. Adorable. So go and check them out. Uh, you won't regret it. And it's an easy project to create. Uh, I give you all the instructions. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate on asking. And thank you so much, Global Land, for uh, the dice. And thank you, all of you guys, for making this possible. Without you guys, none of this will be possible. So I hope to see you guys very, very soon in another haul or craft video. Bye-bye now.